Hello, welcome to GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. We are going to see a few interview questions based on the topic survey. Our first question is, what are the instruments used for change surveying? The instruments that are used for change surveying include Instruments for linear measurement Instruments for setting out right angles Other accessories The instruments for linear measurement include your chain and tapes The instruments for setting out your right angles are your cross staff Optical Square and Prism Square Other accessories are your ranging rods, offset rods, arrows, plumb bob and wooden pegs So these accessories are supported for your chain surveying These pattern of questions are asked in civil firms such as Jindal Steel and Mahindra and Mahindra Our next question is What is the principle of chain surveying? The principle of chain surveying is based on triangulation which is nothing but dividing the area into a network of triangles which should be having a very perfect condition. The sides of the triangles are measured directly on the field by chain or tape. Hence, no angular measurements are made. So simply by dividing the area into a network of triangles, you can perform your chain surveying. Our next question is, give the fundamental difference between plane surveying and geodetic surveying. If you see trigonometrically, geodetic survey deals with long distances, larger areas, and the curvature of the earth is considered while you do your survey. If you see in plane surveying, it is adopted for small distances and small areas and the Earth's curvature is ignored. So, that makes the fundamental difference between your plane surveying and geodetic surveying. These pattern of questions are highlighted in interviews of L&D and Tata groups. Moving on to our next question we have Explain the observations made in an index search. In an index sketch, if you see, the following observations are shown. Arrangement of framework, approximate position of objects boundary lines and baseline proportion chains, chain lines and station positions. So, these are the observations that are made in an index sketch. Moving on to our next question we have. What are the instruments used for setting out right angles to a chain 1? The instruments used for setting out the right angles to a chain one is cross staff, optical square, and prism square. Cross staff is the simplest form of instrument and it is used for setting out perpendiculars. If you see, there are three types of cross staff open cross staff, French cross staff, and adjustable cross staff. If you see your optical square is nothing but a small metal box with mirrors and three slits to view and it is used for setting out your perpendiculars. The principle involved in the instrument is the principle of reflecting surfaces. 
Your prism square is based on the same principle that it has an optical square. It is more versatile and it is a reliable instrument. Hence, your prism square is also the instrument that is used for setting out right angles. Our next question is define true bearing. True bearing of a line is the angle made by the line with the true or geographical north. It is always measured in clockwise direction with a measuring range of 0 to 360. So the angle made with the geographical north will give you your true bearing here in this case 135 degrees. What is meant by reduced bearing? When the whole circle bearing is converted into quadrates bearing, it is termed the reduced bearing. Thus, the reduced bearing is similar to quadrantal bearing. Moving on to our next question we have. The question asks, what are the materials which influence magnetic action? The materials which may influence magnetic action are those which has the presence of iron ore deposits, steel structures, rail, iron lamp and transmission tower. So these are the materials which may influence magnetic action. So that can lead to a lot of complications during your construction purposes. Moving on to our next question we have. The question asks, write the disadvantages of plain table surveying. In plain table surveying, the disadvantages are as follows. It is one of the most inconvenient type of surveying in rainy season. It is convenient. It is inconvenient to transport. It is not intended for specific work and it is essentially a tropical instrument. So, these are the disadvantages of your plain table surveying. Moving on to our next question. We have to list the errors in plain table surveying. Some of the errors in plain table surveying are as follows. Instrumental error and errors of plotting. So these are the two errors in plain table surveying. It can be either because of the instrument or a human made errors of plotting. Our next question is state two point problem. The answer is location of the position on the plane of the station occupied by the plane table by means of two observations to well defined points whose positions have been plotted on the plan is known as your two point problem. So that gives the station occupied by the plane table by means of two observations to two well defined points. Our next question is state three point problem. The answer is location of position on the plane of the station occupied by a plane table by means of three well defined points whose position was previously plotted in the plan is known as your three point problem. So it is the location of the position of the plane 
of the station in this three well defined points so that is your three point problem our next question is list the errors in a compass instrument the errors may be caused due to the following reasons needle is not straight pivot is not upright needle might have lost its magnetism in certain cases pivot will be dull and it won't be sharp plane of the sight is not vertical so these are the errors that can happen in a compass instrument our next question is what is leveling leveling is the operation of measuring vertical distance either directly or indirectly to determine the differences in elevation the difference in elevation between two points is the vertical distance between the two level surfaces in which your points lie so that vertical distance gives you the elevation between the two points Our next question is you have to differentiate between a level line and a horizontal line. The answer is any line lying on the level surface is called as a level line. And this is perpendicular to the direction of gravity at a point. Whereas if you see any line that is lying on the horizontal plane is a horizontal line which is tangential to the level line. so that makes the difference between your level line and your horizontal line these pattern of questions are asked in interviews of martin bond limited and skyline builders our next question is What is the difference between the line of collimation and axis of telescope? The line of collimation or line of sight is an imaginary line passing through the crosshair at diaphragm and the optical center of the object glass and its continuation. Whereas if you see the axis of telescope is an imaginary line that is passing through the optic center of the object glass and the optic center of the eyepiece so the axis of telescope is imaginary line whereas your line of co collimation is a line of straight sight and it is an imaginary line that is passing through your crosshair at the diaphragm and here it is optical center of the eyepiece So that makes the major difference between your line of collimation and the axis of telescope. These pattern of questions are highlighted in civil firms such as Tayo Engineering and Tata Group Limited.